Assalamualaikum dear viewers, welcome to Dr. Sami Medico. Hope so you all will be fine. Today our lecture is UVM Tech. Before to start the lecture, you are already requested to subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. And obviously don't forget to share and like the video. Coming to our lecture UVM Tech. What are the components of UVM Tech? There are three uh, main components of the UVM Tech. The first one is Coride, second is Celery Body and the third one is Iris. As you can see in the diagram, the layer between the retina and sclera is choroid and it is the outermost layer of the eyeball. Then the salivary body and at the last is iris. Choroid is a thin pigmented and vascular posterior most layer of the eyeball. Inner surface is brown smooth and in contact with the RPE. RPE actually stands for retinal pigment epithelium. Outer surface is rough and in contact with the Seclera. Posteriorly thickness is 0.22 mm, anteriorly 0.10 mm. Further choroid has four layers that is supracoroidal lamina, stroma, choreo capillaries and bruce membrane. These four layers are of choroid. As you can see in the picture, the first layer of the choroid bruce membrane is attached with the RPE retinal pigment epithelium. Uh, below the uh, bruce membrane choreo capillaries, then small vessel layer, large vessel layer, and supra or supracoroid inner part of the seclera. Now, this is the function of the choroid. Choroid actually supply the blood to the outer five layers of the retina, also regulate the retinal heat, pigment absorb excessive light, so avoiding the reflection. Now, which blood vessels supply blood to choroid? Short posterior salivary arteries, which are branches of ophthalmic arteries, supply the blood to the choroid, and it is divided into 10 to 20 branches and supply to choroid. Then the next component of the uveal tract is salivary body, continuous with choroid behind and iris in front, like a flat ring applied to inner scleral surface, thick in front and thin behind. As you can see in the picture salivary body is mentioned here. Now what's are the part of the salivary body? Anterior up area called parts placenta are salivary processes which is 2.5 mm. Posterior part which is smooth called parts plana. Then salivary stroma, pigmented epithelium, non-pigmented epithelium and cellulous muscle. Here you can see in the pictures the anterior surface parts placenta and the posterior is pars plana. Iris is attached with the pars placenta and the choroid is attached with pars plana. Which blood vessels supply the blood to the salivary body? Long posterior salivary arteries, two in number, nasal and temporal. These blood vessels supply blood to the salivary body. The words are the function of the salivary body. The first function is aqueous humor production, regulate the IOP maintain blood aqueous barrier and also accommodation. The third component of the uveal tract is iris. Iris is attached at periphery to anterior surface of salivary body and a narrow rim of sclera to form radiocorneal angle of anterior chamber. Perforated centrally by pupil, non bulk vascular connective tissue. The amount of melanin granules increase from interior to posterior, amount of pigment increase with age, color is variable in different individuals, some individual has the black color, some individual has blue, some green, that depends on the era. Here in the diagram you can see the three components of the uveal trach, choroid, cellular body and iris. Where's are the muscle of the iris? The first one is sphincter pupillae. Now what's the function of sphincter pupillae? Circular smooth muscles and constrict the pupil. And the second muscles are dilator pupillae. These muscles are radial smooth and dilate the pupil. These are the function of muscles of iris. So it means that the dilation and constriction of all pupil is controlled by the muscles. Sphincter pupillae and dilator pupillae. Here you can see the image of the radial and sphincter muscles, the radial pupillary dilator muscles and then 
the Pupilarist Construction Massage Center. Now the blood supply of the iris, anterior salivary artery and non posterior, posterior salivary artery supply the blood to the iris. These were the three components of the human tank. Inshallah, tomorrow we will study about the blood supply of the eyeball, branches of blood uh, arteries, and function of different blood vessels. Thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, carefully remember me in your prayers. And obviously don't forget to like and share the comment. And if you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. Allah Hafiz.